welcome to learn instrumentation engineering youtube channel in this video we are going to discuss detailly on complex control signals for a pump and motor so we would detailly discuss on uh, different types of control panels which is getting associated with pump and motor so that would be detailly briefed so don't skip this video and i believe this video would throw a light on the control system panels associated with motor and pump control signals so in this youtube channel learn instrumentation engineering we would be detailly learning on field instrumentation and control systems basic concepts and fundamentals latest technological updates which is happening in and around globally and if you are a budding instrumentation student or an instrumentation engineer or an expertise in the field of instrumentation do subscribe to our channel and i am pretty sure i create more value addition to your knowledge so let's get into this video so since it is a complex uh, control signals for a pump and motor we have considered a multi stage centrifugal pump at the same time we have also considered an ht motor so that the complex control signals would be detailed or discussed with different control systems so we all know that the multi stage centrifugal pump would have a suction line so we have an suction pressure transmitter which is a safety transmitter for this multi stage centrifugal pump and we do have a discharge line and we have a discharge pressure transmitter and again this is a safety transmitter and this would run into a junction box and apart from that we do have a dcs panels and plc panels so now we do have two different panels and uh, the suction and discharge pressure transmitter would be hooked up into the plc panel and then we do have an hmi panel where we can monitor the process parameters of this multi stage centrifugal pump and then we do have an electrical feeder and that electrical feeder would be controlled by the plc so we do have different digital output signals like start stop permissive to the electrical feeder at the same time we do get digital input from electrical feeder and those control signals would be a uh, run feedback availability and local remote indications so these are the uh, different loops uh, or different control signals uh, between the plc and the electrical feeder depending upon the control signals and this electric feeder would power up the high stream motor and now we do have uh, the different auxiliaries equipment for this multi stage centrifugal pump as we have considered complex control signals so we do have lube oil system seal oil systems so we have the lube oil pressure transmitter lube oil tank level tamp uh, transmitter lube oil temperature at the same time we do have seal oil pressure seal oil tank level seal oil temperature and some of the area we would also consider differential pressure transmitter for the seal oil systems so those input output modules or input output signals would get into this plc panel we do have rotary equipment protection systems so what are the basic signals for this rotary equipment protection systems and that would include vibration parameter winding temperature a key phaser um accelerometer velometer etc so these rotary equipment protection system uh, instruments would protect both the motor and the pump during any abnormalities so this would uh, generate an ease the trip and that would get into the plc panel and that plc panel would in turn trip the electrical feeder systems so these are all the uh, multi stage pump skid control signals 
and the rotary equipment protection system uh, indications would be getting into DCS through the mod bus indications at the same time the PLC panels process parameter indication would be getting into DCS through mod bus cables so the DCS uh, panel would be having both the PLC panel control signals and rotary equipment protection system uh, parameters through these mod bus indications so control room engineer can operate the uh, pump and the motor to these indications this is only for indication purpose because the control uh, is being given to the plc and rotary equipment protection system to trip the ht motor and the multi centrifugal pump now we do have a vessel and uh, that vessel would have the fluid and that is getting into the uh, multi stage centrifugal pump so this is out of the pump skit so in this particular vessel we do have the suction line and level transmitter additionally we do have suction header pressure transmitters normally it would be three transmitters and we would be taking two out of three voting with pressure low low conditions so the level transmitter of the vessel and the suction header pressure transmitters both are safety transmitters so that would get into the ESG junction box and that in turn will get into the ESG panel so if there is any uh, abnormalities this ESG would initiate an uh, trip to the electrical feeder and that would in turn stop the HT motor and the multi stage centrifugal pump so these are the uh, complex control signals that would be coming into a multi stage centrifugal pump and then HT motor so you could clearly see over here we do have DCS panels PLC panels rotary equipment protection system panel ESD panel human machine interface HMI panel and the electrical feeder so these different panels would monitor and control the multi stage centrifugal pump and the HT motor so this is the um, overall brief of complex control loops so if you haven't understand this video you go through this video once again and if you have any doubt please I would encourage you people to ask more doubt in the comment section and if you have any uh, different uh, perspective of these control loops I would encourage your uh, uh, feedback in the comment section so if this video is very useful to you just hit the like button and share to instrumentation community and if you want to watch such instrumentation video do subscribe to our channel learn instrumentation engineering thank you